And what do you know, after a month and a half, or like two months or whatever it was, I finally did another painting. It's a miracle. I was waiting for the longest time to get a camcorder, because the last time, the first speed painting, I used my friend's digital camera, and it turned off every 20 minutes and fell over, and it was terrible to use, and I ended up finishing up the painting that I didn't even think was done because I just wanted to get it over with. So this time I got a camcorder and then my friend gave me his tripod and then I finally did a painting. So here we are. I went and put black gesso on top of the canvas and for all of these who don't know, gesso is a really fast drying paint. Like literally within five minutes the uh, gesso is dry. So you can literally sit around and watch paint dry, literally, and it will it dries that fast. But to do the technique I do, you have to have some sort of liquid paint on it. So you put liquid clear over top of the black, and that's why I'm still able to paint this way while having uh, paint in the background. But to do the moon, I do the exact same way that you can also do a sun. You just dip your finger into a white paint and you just literally you make a circle with your finger and that's literally it. And then to do the uh, smudges in the night sky around it, I did the exact same thing. I just used my finger and then I used a brush to smudge it out and whatnot. And then for the first time ever, I used a two inch brush to make evergreens. I usually use a fan brush, but it's the first time ever that I've used a two inch brush and I think that came out fine. And then um, I just used a fan brush and made a waterfall and I was putting in some rocks there now. I think personally the left side looks way better than the right side <laughs> with the leaves and everything. But if you notice in the bottom left corner there's this irritating white line that's been there since the beginning. I have, I don't know why it was there and I'm trying to cover it now and I'm messing with it. It's terrible. It's so frustrating. But whenever I, when I put on the liquid clear it like smudged off and then from then on I like couldn't put anything over it so I had to go and like try to cover it up again and I was like what if I put my name on a sign could that cover it up so I was like bubbling it in I was like spent forever getting every little dot on the canvas to bubble in I was like blowing on it to make it dry faster <clears throat> and then I was like you know what would be cooler than a sign tombstone and I was like I was gonna put the sign on the tombstone I was just like screw it let's just make a tombstone so I made a tombstone and then I put some flowers around it and buried myself. <laughs> but I mean, anybody could be buried there or it could just be for decoration. You never know. I don't know. I'm not sure whose world this is. Actually, that's kind of a stupid question. It's my world. Whose else world would it be? <laughs> it's my world. And I've wanted to do this painting for a very long time and I finally was able to do it. And it turned out amazing. I love the waterfall. The waterfall was awesome, and uh, turned out perfect. Turned out exactly the way I wanted. I just kind of did it, and it just came out awesome. And that's that's how I paint. <laughs> that's basically all there is to it. And then the finished product is right there, and I think it looks pretty snazzy. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.